yeah, it feels like another opportunity to just really become present with our minds and and let go. Because I see how self-concepts, they just live on the surface. But when we become still, even just for a moment, it's, it's an open door for the spirit. And for the unknown, what's unknown to us, just to come and show itself. Spirit, we open our minds this morning to anything that that is you, that is expansive. That is not telling us who we are in a sense of the past. We are grateful just to be open windows to being shown. Yeah, I feel that this spiritual path is just so about willingness, like it is willingness. That's all we need to offer and stay with the willingness. Because we can't, we don't know, we don't know anything actually. <laughs> and we can't understand this world. And this world has nothing to give us or teach us. Yeah, so it just always just comes down to just taking a moment, actually. Just take a moment and give yourself some time off from the intellect, the self-concept. And in that moment is where life can show you what it is and what it wants and your direction and that's the only place where you can find the answer and can feel any kind of direction and and that's all that's asked too. That's why Jesus said be still. So when we have fear or when something is running in our heart or in our mind, it's that itself is an invitation to to just take a look, take a pause. Because that is not our birthright, that fear and that confusion or whatever that is. But our birthright is peace, so that's actually our gateway to peace. Whatever is blocking is our forgiveness lesson. It's our path to peace. It's just only when we ask something more of ourselves that we get confused. It is to become a puppet for the spirit. And that's a very good thing. Because <laughs> it's a dependency. 
not of anything in the world, but a spirit of light. And it's a very, very cool experience. And in some <clears throat> weird way, the ego is making the spirit into death. Like the ego will constantly try to tell us that it is death to follow the spirit. And that's why it's the hold is so strong of past knowledge and what we know about the world. And so it's it is upside down. Like the ego has made God's answer up it's turned it upside down to make it a message of death that you're gonna die, you're gonna you know it's gonna be nothing but but spirit is the only life there is and actually our mind cannot use any other power than the power of God. Even, of course, talks about miscreation. Even when we project and when we misuse the power of God, it is the power of God. It's, there is no other power because ego is dead. <laughs> there is no energy. There is no, there is no life. The ego is an imagination, so it can't it does it can't have power. So there is only it comes down to there is only God actually. <laughs> so we are being tweaked to come back to that experience that we are one with God, there is only God. And until we know that we will the mind will continue to do its thing and miscreate and judge and project, but it doesn't really do anything. It prolongs suffering and confusion and all of that, but it's not real. So this is very well spent time to take this look at the mind that that we're always invited to do, wherever we are. So very well spent time. We can never really waste time if we have that as our focus. And in that we will be guided to the what. So it's just to undo the fear of following that guidance. So let's just let this altar session continue today in our minds. Just keep this experience of handing over anything that is unworthy of you, of your holy mind. Yeah, in all of this we can actually trust. That's, that's the only thing we can do is we can trust. We are swept away by the Spirit. <laughs> something seemingly unknown but yeah just keep trusting